I've been in confinement for the past 14 years. Um, I don't really want to talk about it, but now it's it's a lot better, you know. I'm just getting back to my roots. I see, you know, I see the things that remind me of love, of joy, like this right over here. And sometimes, sometimes I can really connect with them now. I'm, I'm finding my voice. So now when I see, you know, the, the things, the, the joys of this earth, you know, all, all around me, it just really makes me want to connect closer to them, get, get closer to these fine creatures. Just find a better flock. <laughs> In your period of confinement, how would you describe the after the confinement? How would you describe coming out, being rehabilitated into society, and coming one with nature again? When I asked you that question earlier, um, you said you needed to take a 15 minute break. I was wondering, well, first of all, I wanted to apologize for my statement upsetting you, but second of all, I wanted to ask, like, what kind of emotions did it bring up? What, what kind of things were you thinking? Geese emotions are different than human emotions. So, like, sometimes they're just like a lot stronger, really. Um, I don't know if you've ever been able to feel like a geese, um, yeah, so these past few months I've been really, I've been trying to reconnect with nature and just get as, as close as possible um, to it, really, and, and I, I think I've gone through quite a, quite a transformation um, and in, inside of me as well as, you know, outside, and, and I've come to the conclusion that I really want to share my heart. So I will be donating my organs to the National Museum to serve.
So, how are you living these days after confinement? I'm living good. I, oh, you meant like, what, like, oh, um, my, where I'm staying? Yeah. I can't remember that. Okay. Are you in, like, a situation that you can't disclose? Um. Would you say, or? <laughs> Seems like she's running off again. Is everything okay? Have you ever been into the fridge at Dairy Queen? In the research paper, it said that you are an excellent nest builder. Mm -hmm. Do you think there would be a possibility of you sharing that skill with us today? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, uh, when you want to build a nest, you want to make sure that it's, uh, you know, you have enough, enough space for yourself, really. So, what you're gonna want to do just make sure that you find a good area and uh, find some, you know, some good stuff for yourself here. And then you just cut up. Wow, so how long have you been doing that? Um, you know, you just asked me three seconds ago. No, I asked you how to build a nest. Yeah, I've been doing it for three seconds. Oh, about. <laughs> so, uh, Dairy Queen fridge, what about that in particular? It's cold. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, you want to maximize feather growth. So I decided to allow some footage inside the actual property. Um, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna be recorded. Got it? This isn't gonna be. Yeah. No, no, I don't. No, this is not gonna be released. It's just off, off the record. Yeah, okay. off the record. Okay, okay. all right. So, um, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, don't recover. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'll have an egg and it will go right here and I'll sit on it like I've sat on all of your mama's faces. Ricardo? So I let my friends stay here sometimes, you know, because I'm the homie. So here's one of their nests. Um, that's for Mary Louise. Um, here's another one. It's for Akbal. Up there. Um, but I, I haven't seen them around lately, so I don't know. They just must not know that I'm back. So, so yeah, thank you so much for the house. You're, you're so welcome. Um, yeah, you can actually get the fuck out now. That'd be great. So where else in the world have you lived? Sky. What kind of food are you eating on a day-to-day -day basis? What kind of food groups would you say are more prominent? Do, uh, do you have any? I'm really marked right now. <laughs> so it seems like your main food groups are starvation. Do you want to talk about that? It just makes my mind clear, like primal. Am I gonna die? Yeah, it's been a little bit hard since I've gotten out of confinement to find my walking legs again, but we're getting there.
I'm so sorry. I thought I had it together. I don't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>